In this video, you will learn how to create a class for the DBQ Online. Once again, you will log in to the DBQ Online from your WCPS Google account. Once at your dashboard, you will click on the Add Class button. You will be prompted to name your class. If you have class names for your classes, you can simply use those. Or you can use your class period or mod number and grade. I'm going to put Ancient History 6-1. Then you need to hit the Save button. This will automatically take you to your assignments page. If you scroll down to your class name, you will see the word settings and a small gear icon beside it. If you slide your cursor over it, you will have three options, edit class, hide class, and delete class. Edit a class will simply let you change the name of the class. Delete class will allow you to delete the entire class. If you do delete the class, any work that any of your students have done will be deleted as well from that. The hide class, when clicked on, will warn you that your students will not have access till you turn it back on. This feature can come in handy if you are using the DBQ as an assessment and do not want students to work on it outside of class. When you hit the confirm button, an icon with a red eye with a line through it will show beside your class name. This is to say that the class is hidden from your students. To unhide the class, move over the settings button and scroll down to the show class. You'll be asked to confirm. Select confirm and the red eye will be gone. Moving over to the small chevron at the edge of the page, you will be able to click on that to minimize your class. To show your class again, all you have to do is click on the chevron once again. If you move to the bottom of the page, you see the Add Assignments button. This is where you can add an assignment to any class. This will be shown in a future video of all of your options in adding an assignment to your class. Finally, you will notice the class link. This is a randomly generated link to your class. This is the link that you will give to your students to get them logged in to your class. In the next video, you will see how to get students your classroom code. Thank you for watching.